Hello everybody. Uh, what you can see here obviously is a DJI Inspire 1 drone. This is the V2 version. Uh, we're going to go through, hopefully quickly, the process of removing the landing gear on the DJI Inspire 1. This drone took a hit and as you can see on this front landing gear, it is broken right here. The only thing holding it on there at this point is a wire that goes to the antenna. But we're going to go through the process here of how to remove that landing gear. You will need two tool, two, well, actually three tools to complete this process. Uh, one will be a Phillips head screwdriver. It is a jeweler's size screwdriver. This is a 2.4 millimeter uh, that fits into the very tiny Phillips head screws. Uh, the other will be a Allen wrench. This is a two millimeter, I believe, that fits the Allen screws on the landing gear. And the third being a flathead screwdriver or some kind of a tool that's going to help to get some of the parts out. The first step in this process is to remove six Allen screws. You'll see one here, one here, and another here. And then there are three more on the opposite side, exactly the same. Just remove those. I've already loosened these a bit. I'll get those out and we'll move on to the next step. These screws hold the landing gear to the arm and they also hold the uh, motor in place on top of the arm. Once those screws are removed, you can then lower the landing gear like you see here and that gives us access to the inside here where we'll need to remove some other screws. Next we are going to disconnect these two connections to the circuit board that's there and the landing gear and then that circuit board is going to be removed. I take a little screwdriver and push them straight back and they slip right out. Try to be careful when you're doing that. You, of course, don't want to damage that circuit board in the process. That circuit board is held in place in the landing gear with four tiny Phillips head screws. I'm not sure if we can see those in the camera. There's one down here, one on the opposite side, and then two further up in this area up in here. So we need to remove those four screws, assuming we're gonna reuse that circuit board. And that you don't have a replacement. You're gonna want a Phillips, I'm sorry, a uh, jeweler style Phillips head screwdriver to reach down in there. It's helpful if it's magnetic tipped to bring that screw up out of there. There we go. Yep, and I dropped it anyway. And I always keep nearby, uh, you might see in the background here, a container of some kind to put the tiny parts into to keep them all in one place and try and avoid losing them in case you want to reuse any of those. Okay, I've got the four screws out. The circuit board is sitting in there loose. At this point, I'm gonna move around to the front facing side of the landing gear. If your drone is still original as mine is, it has this sticker cover over the front. We're gonna to have to remove this to get to the antenna in the landing gear foot. Okay. 
And we also have a riser on the bottom here. Here's another one. This is what that looks like. Uh, this riser you would need to remove to get this cover off. And what I did was I dripped some rubbing alcohol or something like that down in there. There's a, a foam sticky pad in there holding that in place and the rubbing alcohol will help it loosen up and then you can pull it off the bottom of the foot. So here what I've done is I've got a little bit of rubbing alcohol here, cotton ball, just soaking it in the rubbing alcohol and then letting that rubbing alcohol go down to where that sticky pad is. It softens the adhesive and allows you to get that foot off, the riser off the bottom of the foot. So with that soaked in there a little bit, and I'm using this tool to just pry the riser down off that foot and it will come off. I'm trying to be cautious not to pull down on the leg because again, up at the top there, the only thing holding it together is just one single wire. So I don't want to pull that that wire needs to be preserved because it connects to the antenna, um, which will need to be reconnected after this. And it's not a wire you wanna snip off because you need every bit of length that that wire gives you. So there's the riser off of the foot. And then we're gonna remove this, this front panel here to get to that antenna. So to remove that front panel and get to that antenna, we do need to remove four screws that are on the back side of it. Let's see if I can get this positioned correctly. There are four screws. One is here, one is down below, and there two on the back side corresponding. Same size screwdriver as before. Once those four screws on the back have been removed, then this panel literally falls right out. And this is the antenna inside. Now you can see here at the top that it's connected by a wire. That wire runs up into the top of the landing gear to the circuit board. We're gonna need to, in order to get this, this uh, landing gear off, we're gonna have to disconnect that with a soldering iron. That's, so there's one tool that I forgot to mention at the beginning of this video. You'll also need a soldering iron, a little bit of solder. So we're gonna disconnect there with the soldering iron. That'll free up that wire to slip through this landing gear and remove the landing gear. Okay, I am by no means an expert with a soldering iron, but we will do the best we can here. We're gonna just touch this iron. And warm it up. Here we go. So that antenna is now free. The wire is there, but now we can lower the gear. 
go to lower the gear. In order to lower the gear, we're going to carefully lift. I'm using a tool here to just carefully get under the edge and lift that circuit board up out of the foot of the landing gear. And it will, the gear itself will come down. that fitting for the antenna. Is that, no, I'm sorry, that's the LED. It's the connection for the LED. Slip that in between the other cables so we can now have the landing gear, the broken landing gear free. And your circuit board is still there and intact, if you were careful. And we have the wire over here on the other side ready to replace with a new landing gear and a new antenna. You'll need to just do this process in reverse to replace with new, and you should be good to go. I also wanted to point out that with that connection between the wire and the antenna, there are two connections on that antenna to be concerned about. The very the, the wire itself is in the very center of this and connects at this low point. And then the shielding in the wire is where we saw the, most of the um, most of the solder, sorry. Uh, and that connects here at the top. So you want to be aware that there's two connections there. The, shielding connects at the top with the solder and a very tiny connection here for the wire itself.